What's up? It's your boy Grizz from CypherStyles.com. I'm going to teach you how to do the V-Step Side Sweeper. Uh, we have another clip called just the V-Step Sweeper. This similar. The V-Step Sweeper, you go front to back. The V-Step Side Sweeper, you go side to side. So, same basic concept. Um, what the move is, is it's a combination of two things. You need to be able to do the V-step, also called the heel toe. So you have your weight on one foot and working it side to side, just like in the V-step. And with your other foot, you're going to be crossing in front or in back as you're doing the heel toe with the supporting leg. So. Um, before you can put it together, make sure you have both parts isolated and down. Both the heel toe with the supporting foot and the side to side taps, either in front or in back. So to put it together, we do foot in front, to the side, front, side, front, side. If you practice in socks or low friction shoes or on like linoleum or any kind of smooth floor, it's going to make it easier to uh, work it side to side. You're going to have less friction. Um, if you're having trouble balancing, you can start out practicing with a wall or a chair or something like that just to get the heel toe down, get that balance. And once you get pretty comfortable tapping in place side to side, either in front or in back, try to put a little bit more weight on the, on the traveling leg. And instead of actually just tapping on points, you're going to keep your toe contacted to the ground the whole time. So you're just going to slide your foot side to side as you're traveling makes the move look even smoother and slicker. But you got to get the taps down first because that's a little bit easier because you're, uh, you're going to have less friction with the ground, so it'll slow you down less. We teach another lesson called heel drags. Basically what that is, you're just going to slide your heel or the side of your shoe across the floor while you keep the other foot fixed and supporting you. So slide, slide just like that. And um, if you're using side of your shoe or your heel, you're not going to get much friction on the ground, so it's pretty easy. Um, and you already have down the basic V-step, heel-toe thing of just moving side to side on one foot. So a cool little trick where you can put that together with a side sweeper is as you're traveling side to side, you can basically do the uh, heel drag as you travel. So You want, uh, when your back supporting foot is pointing out, your foot's going to be coming in the same way, gliding across the floor. And then when you switch your back supporting leg, your traveling foot that's moving is going to point the same direction. So, just like that, just nice and easy. It's kind of a rocking motion. And uh, it's just a cool way to travel, and it's a nice uh, variation that you can add with the side sweeper. Let's try the move half speed with a nice slow count, and then we'll try it full speed to the music. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two three, four. All right, let's try to do the side sweeper from the back. Try to follow along with me. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
for. If you're feeling good, let's try it full speed to the music. If you need a little bit more time, run through the lesson again. When you feel like you're ready, let's do the whole thing full speed. Mm -hmm. 